Sometimes tourniquets are accidentally left on patients' extremities after a procedure or test is performed. Whether you are performing a phlebotomy or starting an IV, this video will show you tips to avoid leaving the tourniquet in place by mistake. This video is a simulation of a phlebotomy already in progress from the point of successfully accessing the vein. The intention is not to demonstrate the phlebotomy or specimen labeling techniques, but rather to feature the strategies that can reduce the likelihood of accidentally leaving a tourniquet on a patient's extremities. Notice the color of the tourniquet. Brightly colored tourniquets are more easily seen and distinguishable from gown sleeves and other equipment. A phlebotomy is being performed on this patient. Notice the flash of blood in the vacutainer and tube. It is important to remove the tourniquet at this time so as not to exceed 60 seconds, which could affect the laboratory results and so the tourniquet is not forgotten and inadvertently left on the patient. Notice that the tourniquet has been placed in the discard pile. This provides a visual cue to the caregiver and the patient. When possible, the patient or family should be encouraged to participate in this process because they too can help assure the tourniquet is removed. Notice that the caregiver can see the tourniquet in the discard pile. As a best practice, the caregiver picks up the discard pile contents, ensuring one last time that the tourniquet is present and has, in fact, been removed from the patient. The caregiver then pulls off the glove while holding the tourniquet and other discarded trash. You can reduce the likelihood of accidentally leaving a tourniquet on a patient's extremity if you, one, remove the tourniquet at the first sign of blood flash, two, place the tourniquet in a discard pile to provide a visual cue for the caregiver and patient, and three, doff the gloves while holding on to the tourniquet and trash.